I went to collect, I went, see, I was working in a company and you know, Nigerian companies, uh, they need to verify your certificates. So after employing you, after a while they verify, you told them you went to NYSC, you went to this school, they want to verify to be sure you're not a fraud, which I have no problem with. They don't tell you, they send their consultants, they get a consultant to say, please, we have hundred of these, our workers who graduated from, can you go verify that they actually graduated from this school? Now, my, 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 um, what's probationary period was due and was now like almost seven months modern. And I was wondering what is keeping this. And I went and he said, Oh, we have one institution you haven't that has not been verified. I said, So go verify them. He said, They have not responded. So I said, Okay. We waited. And then, fortunately, I had an assignment in that location. So I went to HR to say, I know I'm not supposed to be involved. Do you permit me? I'm going to that region for an assignment to so go to there and find out why. The guy said, Go ahead, not a problem. You won't be breaching anything. If they respond, we were happy. So I went to there and I went to that school and they said the lady responsible was not yet at work. I got her number. I called her. Because I understand the Nigerian nuances, I tried to appeal to her. And then she said, you know, as, as if she was doing me a favor, she said, oh, she'll be late. She'll be in by 1, 1 p.m. I had to wait because I was going to under city. She showed up and pointed to the floor that, oh, I should just check on the floor. If you see official documentation, like in a trash, I went there and sealed my own. Fortunately, it was just wasn't long. I just pulled out my, the letter of the organization. I said, ah, look at my name with seven other people on the list. She said, eh, so, so when are you going to respond to this? She said, ah, she doesn't have anybody to enter exams and record to go and pull my file. I gave a bribe. I'm not going to pretend about it. Why? Because I could see that this person doesn't care if I lose my job. <laughs> this person doesn't care if I lose my job. So what I did was I said, okay, since I'm here, I'm going to give you X amount and I'll give you money to send this thing by DHL. No longer normal post. What do you need? She told me I gave her. The guy who was going to enter the file, I gave money to the person too, separately. Gave her, gave the person. So that, not that I gave her and the person would say, I didn't, you didn't give me my own. Mm. Anyway, cut, long story short, I did it for everybody on that list. And they responded. Mm.